Welcome back to my channel. In the beginning of the month, I usually try to get on here and show you a couple more fragrances that Dossier have sent to me. Yes, they're still sending me fragrances. I don't know why, but they keep sending them and I keep reviewing them and keep sharing them with others. My kids love them. I love them. I repeat by some of them. Lost Cherry is my diehard and I have gone. I'm on my second bottle now. So, hey, if you want to see a couple of brand new ones, then keep watching. So, guys, we're going to start off with Inspired by Tom Ford's effing fabulous. Uh, Dossier, of course, you know, they got on and they started research and they wanted to dupe this to the as close as they could get it. And they came up with a beautiful inspired by version and it's called Ambery Sage. Now, Ambery Sage has top notes of bitter almond, sage, lavender, leather notes, orris, vanilla, and then on the base notes, it's amber, blonde woods, and tonka beans. I'm not a lover of lavender unless it is one of the back notes. But after a while, this dries down to a very unisex fragrance and... It's hard for me to get past the initial lavender and leather in it, but once you get past that first blast of lavender and leather, it almost smells like wet paper. If if you you know if you're a fragrance lover, you'll understand what that smells like. I mean anybody knows what that smells like, but you'll understand what it smells like in a fragrance. And this has a smell of wet paper, and I actually love the smell of wet paper. <laughs> I only review fragrances. I only tell you what I smell. I am certainly not an expert, um, but Dossier keeps sending them to me, and you've seen my, these videos over and over and over again. And for those of you who haven't, let me just tell you, um, they come in these beautiful bottles. They come in these uh, recyclable boxes. Uh, the bottles are beautiful. They've got the magnetic closure on them. Uh, they're substantial. I have noticed they've improved the label. The label is so smooth. Each one I've opened so far is super smooth. But getting back to the fragrance, if you have um, Tom Ford's Effing Fabulous, uh, then you'll know what it smells like. I'm going to attempt to tell you what this smells like and then you tell me if it smells anything like Tom Ford's Effing Fabulous. It smells like wet paper with lavender and bitter almond. I'm thankful that as it dries down, um, the vanilla... Uh, and the base notes and that tonka bean come out and by the time it has dried fully down it has hints of leather the lavender has gotten really quite soft and feminine if there's such a thing as lavender being fem feminine in my mind lavender is very masculine lavender is is a hard note for me very hard note for me but anyway this is their version of Tom Ford's effing fabulous and it's quite addictive but I think my husband will like this more than me. I like it. I don't know if I wear it but I think he would absolutely love this one. I also think that the wet paper smell in it is probably coming from the sage and that is the first one and it is called Ambery Sage. These are these are amazing and if you're interested in dossier please please go and uh, use my code. It's for your use only. I don't get paid for this. I'm not affiliated with them. I, 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 don't, I don't get commission on anything that I uh, show you here. So that's number one. 
This is inspired by Creed's Silver Mountain Water. Now, my husband loves Creed's, Creed Aventus, so I thought this would be a good one to order. This is a unisex fragrance. Anything can be unisex. Anyone can wear anything they want. I'm just saying what it is that on their website. This one is uh, does come up that it is unisex, and I was very impressed with this fragrance. Now, I'll give you the notes, and the first notes are green tea, bergamot, and mandarin. The middle notes are rain, neroli, black currant. Uh, the base notes are musk, sandalwood, and orris. I love this. If you were buying Creed's Silver Mountain Water, it would cost you uh, in the region of 300 to $350. I believe that's US. I love this in particular because it feels like a waterfall, you know, like a waterfall in the mountain because it's got greenery around it. You can smell the water. You can almost hear the water rushing off the mountain and splashing into the pool below. This is incredible. I wore this the other day for the whole day. It lasted me through until um, probably the sixth or the seventh hour, and then I put it on again. As the day progresses, after about two to three hours, this changes. And as the day goes on, I smell this beautiful smell, and I think, what is that? That's not what I'm wearing. And then I go, Yes, it is what I'm wearing and it's different. It evolves as the day goes on. I can't explain to you exactly what this fragrance does. Now, how they did this is beyond me. If you own Creed's uh, Mountain, <laughs> Creed's Silver Mountain Water, if you own it, Please tell me what it smells like. This one is a keeper, and I think Hubby and I are both going to enjoy this fragrance. If you've hung in here this long, this is a giveaway. <laughs> this is one of my kind of giveaways. I don't do complicated giveaways. I usually do a giveaway near the end or the middle of a video. I don't put it in the title, as you know. I call them my sneaky little giveaways. And I'm giving away one of my fragrances that Dossier have sent to me. I'm giving it away. It's a brand, brand new bottle. The reason why I'm giving this one away is because I already have one. And I thought, you know what? This one is a particularly nice fragrance for this time of year. It is actually um, an easy fragrance, I think, for anyone. Like it would be, I would say, an easy blind buy. Uh, I could be wrong because everyone's taste is different. But if you're familiar with Jo Malone, then you'll know Jo Malone, Nectarine, Blossom and Honey. And this is the fragrance I'm giving away. I wrote on it here so that the person who gets it will know what it's inspired version of. Um, brand new box. It's got the card as always with the notes explaining everything about it. It's beautiful here i'm not even going to take it out of the bottle it's quite securely in there um it's a gorgeous gorgeous bottle and the notes of it are black currant green leaves middle notes are honey and nectarine base notes are peach and vetiver so this is a fruity green fragrance super easy Great right in the summer, but wear it any time of the year. It's gorgeous. And I'm giving away this bottle to my subscribers. So the only condition, I'm sorry, ladies. The only condition is I cannot send this out of Canada. I have done it in the past, but unfortunately they have cut down so much over the years. You can't send anything like this to the UK because of Brexit. You can't send them into the United States anymore because of the high security and people just worried about liquids going through and what might be in them. So I understand that. 
And I also understand that I don't really have a lot of Canadian followers. I may have uh, maybe 10, uh, 15, not even that, maybe less than that Canadian followers, but the Canadian followers I do have are loyal, they're kind, they're sweet, they come in, they watch my video. If you're still watching this and you would like to enter for this, all you have to do is leave me a pink heart. Uh, that's all. Don't give it away. Don't say I want to enter anything else. Just leave a pink heart. Um, leave me more than one pink heart. That's all I'll say. Leave me lots of pink hearts. Guys, this is it. I'm going to come to a close now. I have rambled on long enough. See you on my next video. And don't forget, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle.